A driver is in custody this noon being tested for a DWI after crashing a pickup truck through the wall of a home on the northeast side. Around 40 30 this morning, the red pickup slammed through the house at the corner of Raybon and Galahad. That's just off of I-35 near Camelot Elementary School. Our Max Massey spoke with family members who say it was a terrifying start to their morning. Like I said, I'm in disbelief. I don't even know how to feel. I don't know why I want to cry. I, I'm holding back because of my grandkids. Virginia Casada doesn't live here, but she was one of the first to arrive, checking in on her family and finding this red pickup truck on her daughter's front lawn. I was thinking of coming to something even worse because they sleep there. So Matthew, because he was laying down on the floor, that's what saved him. If he had been on the bed, he wouldn't be alive today. Her two grandchildren were hurt. They didn't need an ambulance. Police saying that these children are dealing with minor injuries, but it could have been much worse. My grandson was underneath the truck, and I just can't believe that he just, just tried to back up like nothing happened. The vehicle has since been towed away, but the tarp, the debris, and the track marks still remain. The driver going so fast, the pickup crashed through multiple walls. He came all the way in here. Wow. Everything is damaged. There's my daughter cannot even get her clothes, her wallet, nothing. We had to have EMS to get her medications, whatever they could find. Neighbors telling me that this is not the first time an accident like this has happened to this corner. Neighbors here just across the street actually strategically putting a rock and a cemented pipe in front of their house to prevent a future wreck. As for Virginia, she's still counting her blessings. I know everything's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Thank God everything is all right. Max Massey. Because God is good. Jesus Christ is good. KSAT 12 News.